Hey everybody, Tim here at Rat Daddy Studios. Uh, just a little quick one to show you something I'm working on and uh, a few other little things. I'm gonna do just a couple quick shout outs here real quick before I forget. Uh, thank you to my buddy at Throttle Power there for sending me the decals. These are really cool. I kept one here at the shop and took in the other one. Taking the other ones home, put on my toolbox and on my bench there. I appreciate that. It's a cool, uh, cool decal with the Strombergs on it. I love the old vintage carburetor setup. Uh, also, another thank out to Big Charlie's Model Garage. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. Thanks for the note on the back and uh, thanks for watching. Most appreciated. I um, always enjoy these shop card shout outs. And to my friend Red at Red Scale Scrapyard. I still have your returned letter, which I probably screwed up the address on, so contact me, if you will, so I can get this back out to you and uh, send me your information. Um, any of you guys that want a shop card, uh, email me. Uh, it's ratdaddystudios, with an S on the end, at gmail.com. Still got some shop cards left over. Sent a few out this week, three or four, uh, but I still got a few left, so if anybody wants one, Give me a shout out. You don't have to have a card in return. Don't care about that. I'm just glad to send them out. I appreciate you guys watching. So um, that's that. Oh, done with that. Uh, moving on. Uh, here's something I'm working on. Just wanted to show you this. This is a um, reissue of the Ghost of the Red Baron. <clears throat> Atlantis Models brought this back out, which honestly, this is one of those kits that uh, I was surprised that... Uh, got reissued, you know, because a lot of this stuff, there was always, even when these came out years ago, some of this stuff um, was controversy, you know, Nazi stuff, all that, which we understand, <clears throat> but um, it was really cool. I remember these original kits, and I'm talking 20 years ago, um, when I was really collecting Tom Daniel kits, these original kits were going for way up in the high hundreds. I remember original sealed kit going for like $1,200 one time at auction, super super sought after because they didn't make them very long and uh it's just one of those things i i have this i think i've shown you this one before i scratch made this one um a friend of mine milled this base for me excuse the dust i haven't dusted this thing off in a while um this is all milled aluminum and this was just like a halloween skull that i got my hands on and uh mark Harmon did the helmet but with the rat fink logo on it and i of course i'm you know i'm an optician so i made the the yellow lens glasses to go on it. So that's a life-size version uh, of the Ghost of the Red Baron. Well, that's kind of the Ghost of the Rat Fink Baron, I guess, uh, because it got the Rat Fink helmet on it. But anyway, so obviously uh, I'm fiddling with this. I've done some lighting. Now this is just all stuck together, but I, I was going to walk you through the whole thing, um, show you how I soldered all this stuff up and put this in there, but I won't. And it's just sitting here right now, and this is only half a head, so I can kind of show you what's going on here a little bit. So we'll turn him around there and you can see it's just, this is just very, very simple. Uh, ran some LEDs up through the eyes. I drilled a small hole down here in the base to run my wires from my LEDs up. Uh, I've got this where I can plug it into the wall. Instead of running off of nine volts now, I generally will run everything off of a wall wart, a nine volt wall wart. And I've got a micro switch on here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of flip this this way. So you can see I've got, just a small control board in here. Um, I get all these from Randy Newbert at Voodoo Effects. Randy is a top-notch guy, and he can supply you with LEDs also if you need LEDs and wire and boards. Randy, um, Randy was my mentor when I first got into doing a lot of the sci-fi stuff and doing work for clients um, 10, 12 years ago. I never worked with soldering up these control boards. And, and when you get one of those packages with one of those boards and this big gob of wires and switches and, you know, uh, it, you know diodes, you, you look at it and you go, oh, my God. And I, and I remember the one that I got from him, the very first one, was actually this, this sub. Um, let me turn on the light. Uh, the sea view from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. That was the first thing that I really did major lighting on years ago. And that thing is fully lit up inside and out. And uh, our God, I remember emptying that out on my desk and just going, oh, I am never gonna be able to do this. And uh, Randy's always got a note in there, call me, here's my number. If you don't know what's going on with this, call me, I will be more than glad to help you. And he was very patient with many phone calls, with helping me through it because 
when I just first started on it, I just didn't totally get it. You know, when you're trying to get resistors and stuff in those boards and where does the positives and the negatives, but I got it over time. And the more you do it, and I did that for 10 years after that nonstop. I did mostly sci-fi models for clients, uh, a lot of Star Trek, Star Wars stuff, and everything had mega lighting in it and fiber optics. And he pretty much talked to me and told me how to do that. And I will say, my buddy Simon Marks um, up in Daytona, uh, Simon helped me a lot with the fibers. You know, I went and looked at a lot of his work. He is the Star Trek guy uh, when it comes to having something professionally built. So I was able to go up and look at at Simon's work and see what he's in. And he does some incredible Star Trek stuff. Uh, really, really incredible Star Trek stuff. So he helped me a lot too. So thanks to Simon and big thanks to Randy though. And Randy has continued to mentor me on stuff like this that I don't understand. And, and he's, he's become a good friend and uh, he's very well known in the industry. And uh, just shout out to Randy too. Thank you. I appreciate your help, pal, all these years. But anyway, getting back to this thing. So um, yeah, you can see here. So there's my plug-in for my wall wart, so it goes on there, my little micro switch. I, I really like these stainless micro switches. I've used these for years instead of slider switches. And this is just a very simple four port board that just about anybody can do. I mean, I, and you know, it's just got uh, little resistors across here and then your positives and negatives going out to your LEDs, your wiring here. So this is a, I put this blue LED in here basically to uh, to fluoresce the skull and this I'm gonna put this up on some little risers this will be up off of here so it won't it's right now nothing's glued in I've got to glue the board down and, and get everything situated in there it just wasn't quite tall enough to um, accommodate my switches or actually I think it's just where the uh, wall warp plugs in that's what's jacking it up even though I bent the prongs so but anyway so you, you kind of get this cool effect I left that open so you could see the back of it, but uh, you know, when once you get the helmet on there, let me see if I can blinding myself with this blue LED in my face. I'm just sitting that on there, but the helmet causes some reflectivity too from that blue LED, which is great because you can see it's flashing right down on the face. I painted this with a UV um, glow paint, and these LEDs will fluoresce it quite a bit, but under a true black light, it'll really pop. And of course, the skull, I gotta take this completely back apart. Um, the skull, I'll, I'll do some uh, weathering on it. Usually, I'll take some black or some brown, do a wash over the entire thing. I might go ahead and break out. I've actually got glow in the dark paint, so I might actually go ahead and break that out and do um, uh, the glow in the dark, you know coat first and then do a wash of black over that and all the teeth and the eye sockets and everything just to make that pop so so that's something that's coming up and um that's it that's i've just i've got other finished projects to show you guys i'll do another video in a day or two um waiting on a hurricane here right now so i'm in florida i'm on the east coast uh, hurricane franklin has dodged us thank goodness has gone on north um this other one adelia is coming across from the Gulf, so I, probably this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be getting a lot of rain and some wind. Um, I may be sitting here at my office twiddling my thumbs and people are, but I, honestly, I stay busy even if it's raining. I, some of my best days have been rainy days, so I don't think we're gonna get hammered here like the rest of the coast and of course north up into the northern parts of the state. They're gonna really get pounded as this storm heads up there. And all you guys that are in its path, I hope you make out okay. And I know it's gonna cover a lot of states, uh, the Carolinas and all the way up the coast that way and the Panhandle. So uh, be safe. I'll be thanking of you guys and uh, I will see you probably, maybe even do another video tomorrow if I decide to drag the, a couple of my finished projects down here and uh, shoot a quick video of those. So talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in.